Hi everybody, I'm Mark Verbos. I'm uh, from Verbos Electronics. Um, the, the subject matter uh, today is about uh, our new, newly introduced uh, configurations, which are uh, complete systems. We've got a lot of requests from, from users for um, prearranged systems that I guess a lot of the, the customers were looking at um, the entire marketplace of, of available modules, and particularly if they're starting out, really um, not knowing what to get to, uh, to start their system. So um, rather than, than um, bring them together as just sort of like one of each thing we make and put it into a box, um, we did a little bit of thinking about how um, you might want to configure a, a system depending on what you are going to do with it. And there's a lot more that goes into putting together your, your instrument than, than just um, going onto like modular grid and trying to f maximize like uh, how many HP uh, or how it works you know, in your rack or something like this. That um, we're, not, we're not configuring a, a collection of, of just um, the most important individual modules, but actually putting something together that works together in a in a way that that um, allows you to um, feel inspired to to um, to make music. And there's there's also a, a, a philosophy that that I've been um, since the beginning pr uh, promoting, which is that within one module there might be or there is. Uh, an arrangement, the, the design of the module starts from the, the, the interface design and works its way toward the, elect the electronics. So within the, the interface design, there's a, a kind of signal flow, which is that the, the ideas or the, the music is flowing from the user or the musician out and ultimately reaching the speakers. And that flow starts from the user and then uh, hits the first row or the, the lowest row or the closest one to the user and works its way up. And we try to arrange the, the modules in a way that, that reflects that so that the controllers and the, the sequencers and the, the control voltage generators are all the closest to the user and then they work their way to the sound generators or oscillators and through the processing and ultimately to the mixing and, and out to the world. So within these three configurations, there's there's that arrangement. So when when we when we spec out what it's going to be, it's not just which modules are in it, but also the way that they're arranged within the case. And we we have a, a specially designed case that um, we that we're not manufacturing that is used for these configurations. Our modules are all one PCB in parallel with the front panel, so quite, quite thin. So we're able to make the, the cases for this quite thin. And we like them to sit on the, the tabletop in this, in this way. So the, the, the three configurations that we're showing are the, the designer configuration here, which is intended for sound designers or soundscape people. Maybe if the music that you're that you're making is um, f music for picture or for um, something where you would you would want to manipulate more subtle spacious characteristics and perhaps manipulate those those things in a in a more hands-on way and less less driven by sequencers. So. A little quick demonstration of what this one is.
Okay, so the in this case, the, the Mini Horus is the controller, and this is a multi-dimensional touch plate controller that allows us to, to send out a, a few different signals when touching these touch plate strips. And uh, right now we're just using the, the pressure out from these keys to, to introduce different harmonics from the harmonic oscillator and then affecting that, that harmonic blend with the multi-delay processor. In, in, in this context, I, it's very easy to make, as you could see, um, drones that, that are slowly evolving and organic, and also that, that having, having the, the effects and the, the ability to, to um, interplay between the, the sound source and the, and the effects really allows it to be uh, a rich and organic and flexible sound source. So moving on to here, this is this configuration is the the performer. So the idea here was was that users who like myself um, do live performances in clubs where I'm improvising on on the instrument, but not necessarily. But if you were doing that. You, you also want to be able to do multiple uh, voices at the same time. So the focus here in, in the top row or the, the, the sound generating row is to have a, a voice with a harmonic oscillator and the, the new amp and tone. And then also a voice with a complex oscillator and a new amp and tone. And then the, what we like to call the, the CV row where the, the lower row or the, the closer row has the voltage multi-stage acting as a, a master sequencer, and then the sequence selector and control voltage processor that are really complementary to the voltage multi-stage, allowing, allowing some more involved and um, less predictable sequence possibilities. And then the, the multi-envelope and the random sampling are there to, to allow us to shape nodes and create random modulation, what have you. So uh, a quick example of that.
Okay, and the last, the last configuration is the producer configuration. The idea being that, um, in this case, the a user who who is using this in the studio where um, it's not. It's not important to create a lot of layers at the same time as it is to, to make one patch that's quite flexible or more dense. So that could be recorded into a computer or on tape or whatever. So <clears throat> in this case, we've included the, the multi-delay processor in the mix again so that it's, it's a, we're able to get uh, a bit more um, involved in, and uh, polished patches. So this patch is actually using the foundation oscillator as the, the sound source. Okay, thank you. <laughs>